and gentlemen, King's Horse Academy presents three premier runs in the amateur welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in a 170 pounds. Representing Wild Fighters Gym, Paul Toto Wrightson. Fighters gyms out of the blue. Independent fight, but Darren Stewart said he's going, I can see. Yeah. Leon with a real heavy leg kick to start things off. Hands really low, though. Ooh. Head and arm throw by Leon. Looks like he's trying to maybe sweep that leg under to get back to full oh, guard. But he's so high up on his hip because he's still holding on to that to his head. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if he's this was he death gripping again. Yeah, it looks like he's straight back up. There we go. Paul throwing from the hip. Liam with another chopping leg kick. Hands real low. Yeah, hands too, too low for my liking. But he looks explosive. He looks like he's waiting, he's going to explode. Like that right hand's cocked, he's just ready. Oh! Nice spin and heel kick. Paul took that on the side of the head. Well, obviously, he's got some sort of taekwondo background or something, by the way, because that's why his hands are low, maybe. Possibly. And it's that relaxed kind of state when he's yeah. in there and that's striking, because he is extremely relaxed. He's on his toes. Again with that chopping leg kick. You can already see yeah. the red marks on the side of Paul Tosaris' leg. That's all shin. Nice big foot. I don't like the crossing of the feet by Paul as he's trying to circle out. So explosive. Oh, nice slam. Into a guillotine. It's tight. It's tight. And if you notice, though, but if you notice, Leon was doing the right things. He's fighting the hands. And he, he's already bouncing on it, trying to get a bit of feeling back into it. So we'll see if he, if Leon goes back to that outside leg kick. And that's what he was trying to do. And Paul's stepping in on it. Oh, that was a slow. He's smiling, in other words, that hurt. You know when someone smiles. Paul was smiling, but I think he, he got hurt a little bit there. Be interesting to see how Leon sets up that leg kick. Looks like he's gonna try something spinning, spinning again. Yeah, he looked like it. He's switching his legs. That's his telltale sign. Yeah. And as a wrestler, we're always seeing that, because we're watching the hips. So we kind of know where those hips are going. So if we see him start to turn that hip back, I'd take a, I'd take a shot. I mean, that's just me. 
because I know his legs are going to be crossed if he starts to do that. Here it comes. He's, he's waiting. He's trying to time it. He's going to look to spin. Paul's got to look to start throwing that jab out. Not just faint with it, but actually close in distance and put it out there. Leon's corner's hollering for him to have the jab, but it seems like Leon's pretty happy here just taking that outside leg kick and then looking for that spin. Leon, yeah, like I said, looks so explosive. He's just waiting. But I think Paul's been doing more the more the work rate in this this round anyway, I mean. Oof, ooh, okay, that, that one hurt bad. Yeah. He felt that look, he's wait there, that's a bad sign. You know. Oh. oh. And now he's just preemptively lifting that leg. He's waving and smiling for us, but you know he's hurt. And if I'm Leon, I'm, I'm wanting to set that shot up. He knows that he's got him hurt. Let's set that up with jabs. Move forward, throw some jabs. Get him not thinking about that leg kick and then throw it. Look at look how heavy Paul is on that leg now and all. That, I mean, he's putting no weight on it. I don't know like, why he tried to step on it right there. <laughs> it's, it's gone. I can tell the way he's moving. And it's the calf all the way up the thigh. Yeah. And he's, we've still got a round to go. Yeah, and with 30 seconds left, Leon's just got to move forward. Paul, he, he needs to close his distance and try and get a takedown. It's going to be hard because Leon's center of gravity is low. And his hips are nice, tight. He's explosive, so he could come off of it and stop that takedown. But Ooh. Hard low leg kick. Four seconds. It's already bruised now, it's not just red, it's purple. Oh, big shots, coming on strong. Still looking for the low kick. And Leon throwing those conscious combinations. The only thing I don't like Leon doing, running with his chin up, which... Uh, never a good sign. Never a good sign. That, that's where you throw that counter right cross. Paul staying uh, relaxed. So, uh, straight back up. And nice again, trip, trip. adjusting the cup. With Paul with two minutes plus left, I'm going to be moving forward. We know that Leon doesn't want to be on the ground because every time he's taken Paul down, he's just backed away. Ooh. Paul's just got to go for it now a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and if I'm in Paul's corner, I'm telling him just close the distance. Push, throw to me. There's that blood. Oh, there we go. The leg's gone. Yep. The leg's gone. And the thing behind it is if I'm in Leon's corner, I'm telling him move forward. Look, Paul's now had to trade, change stances just to be able to move forward. Couple more kicks could end this fight. If you notice, uh, Paul's stepping in with it. Look, he's stepping in to the over and trying to protect his leg. Ref's taking a good look at that leg too. Yeah. All inside this time. He switched stance. Paul likes to switch stance. He's worried about the uh, the leg. And the biggest problem with that is Paul's never trained switch stance fighting, and you can yeah. tell because he he doesn't feel comfortable throwing punches. No, he's slowed right down now. Leon needs to push a bit now again. Like I said, he could get a stoppage here. Exactly. Leon would be starting to move forward, throw those leg kicks. All he needs is probably one or two more, and that's going to be it. Paul's not going to be able to continue. Well, I said Paul's very limited now. Do you know the old saying, it's never a good idea to be a, a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, at the minute, that leg is jacked up. Yeah. 
he, but so he's let the letting trouble recover here. I'm guessing Leon must be a little bit tired himself. Credit the ball, keep going forward, but action slowed right down. Oh, and that's it. Come on. If he can't put his foot on that mat, it's seven seconds, seven seconds left. left. Now it just he should be smashing that. Just go forward. Yeah. Bum Paul, what, what do you have to lose? Nothing. Move forward and start throwing some punches. I would like to uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored about 30 to 27 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Leon Gortat!